Hey guys, it's Joe and welcome back to Trauma Talk. I am here in gorgeous Garden of the Gods and I want to talk today about uh, an area of the brain that is damaged by emotional and psychological trauma that might make it so that you find yourself having a really difficult time putting things into words. Or if you're on the flip side of things and you're supporting someone or listening to someone who has been through trauma, they might have a hard time communicating and it's not just because they don't want to communicate or it's not just because um, hard things are difficult to talk about. It's because their brain is actually not functioning the way that it used to before. So let me explain. I have found myself uh, really frustrated sometimes when I'm trying to work through something, trying to talk to someone, when I find myself triggered. I feel like I literally don't have words. I feel like I no longer can use the English language like a human being, like I've lost my language abilities, like I just, I can't explain what's going on. I can't put things into words and it's so frustrating because I want to communicate I want to tell someone what's going on um, and this especially happens in uh, high stress situations or triggering situations or if I'm trying to talk about my trauma and it's something I haven't worked through and um, I was reading today about Broca's area which is an area of the brain that controls speech and putting things into words and telling stories so on and so forth so in trauma there's a deer in the bushes behind me. I don't know if you can hear him. Um, but they've done a number of studies about trauma patients. And it's interesting that it often mirrors uh, brain activity in stroke patients. But they've done PET scans, which is scans of the brain where you can see what areas of your brain light up and have brain activity uh, during certain memories and certain functions. And when recalling traumatic memories or in stressful situations, Broca's area in trauma patients goes dead, like completely is black on the screen, which means that it is not functioning. And that is also seen in stroke patients where that area of the brain is dead and damaged and no longer working, like permanently not working. Now with trauma patients, um, it's not that it won't ever work again. It's not that it's gone forever, but it's that that part of your brain is not functioning at this time. And it makes it so that you don't have in that moment or for that period of time, the ability to articulately put things into words that you can't speak clearly about what's going on. It's not that you don't want to. It's not that you're not trying to. It's not, it's just that you can't think clearly and speak clearly about what you're experiencing. And this can be really frustrating when you're triggered and maybe you're with someone and you're trying to explain what's going on or you're trying to tell them what you need or um, maybe you're trying to work through a flashback or a memory or whatever it is. Or um, as I've experienced, if you're uh, in a conflict with someone or an argument or something like that, I'll find that I kind of like go dead and, and don't have words and become uh, extremely in the past extremely either passive or extremely like I don't want to say aggressive I've never been like aggressive but uh, way overreactive because I don't have the words to explain what's going on and so I either shut down or get really over defensive and a big part of that is because that part of our brains that helps us put things into words and explain things is just dead for that time and that can be healed prepared and worked through and as we work through our trauma and as we figure out how to put things into words and how to um, be gentle with ourselves over time, that part of our brain can heal. Counselors and therapists do a great job of helping us work through things. Um, books and people who are helpful do a great job of helping us work through uh, things. And I think there are a lot of different ways that that area of the brain can be helped. Uh, medication can help as well. It can come back. But if you are finding that you have a really difficult time putting things into words or that in stressful situations or when you're triggered, you feel like you almost lose your language abilities, know that you're not weird, that there's nothing necessarily wrong with you but that that is a really common thing for trauma survivors to experience and it can be worked through and you can get it back but also know that if you're a supporter of someone who has gone through something traumatic they're not not trying to talk to you they're probably not not wanting to clue you in on what's going on if they're extremely emotional or or something is going on it's just that they don't have the capacity to explain to you in that moment what is happening maybe return to it another time ask them about it at a different moment you know come back to it a couple days later but in the heat of the moment if someone is really upset they can't tell you what's going on um, in many cases. So that's what Broca, Broca's area is. Like I said, in trauma patients, it goes dead um, on 
the on PET scans when dealing with stressful or traumatic memories. Same thing in stroke patients when it is permanently damaged, but it can come back if you've dealt with trauma. So I am Joe Beckwith, this is Trauma Talk. I look forward to seeing you next time. Please take care of yourselves until then. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm curious if you've ever felt yourself experiencing the same sort of sensation where you feel like you lose your language abilities um, because I, I have felt this a lot and it's been helpful to me to read about what the scientific explanation behind it is. Like it's not just me, you know? It's, uh, that's always helpful for me and I'm curious if you find the same thing or if you've had similar experiences. Let me know in the comments below. I look forward to talking to you soon.